The new Modern Warfare 2 event has me conflicted. So recently with the Season 2 Reloaded update for Modern Warfare 2 2022, uh, we got this Path of the Ronin, I guess, Part 2, <laughs> a lot of twos, uh, challenges, as you can see here on the screen. And uh, basically what you have to do is get a certain amount of headshots, or in the case of launchers, just kills and knives, uh, melee, or behind, kills from behind. And upon completing these challenges, you unlock this Cherry Blossom camo that you see in the top left corner. And if you unlock the Cherry Blossom camo for every weapon category that you see on screen here, you get the uh, ultimate mastery version of Cherry Blossom and a weapon charm. Pretty cool stuff, honestly. Um, I've been looking for an event like this in recent Call of Duties, pretty much since Modern Warfare 2019, honestly, and we haven't gotten any. Um, the last time I remember having an event like this was probably like Black Ops 4, or maybe uh, Modern Warfare Remastered, and it's a great event. It's a great way to do things, honestly, because this it allows people to unlock something tangible, like a camo, for the weapons that they want, and it doesn't feel, you know, super pressuring. Like, you know, you can unlock it if you want, but, no, you know, you're not really missing anything by not unlocking everything, except that's not exactly how I'm feeling about it. When when this was announced, I was pretty excited. I was like, okay, cool, a new event. You can actually unlock a cool camo, you know, the Cherry Blossom camo, which I really liked uh, in Black Ops 2. Uh, so I was like, cool, you know, you can unlock some cool camos. We get a new map, which is this map here, which looks gorgeous, by the way. I love the, the aesthetic of this map, but when the event, actually dropped oh my god the lag what was that <laughs> dude that was some matrix like slow motion shit anyway when the event actually launched i suddenly had no interest i kind of like i loaded it up and i just kind of stared at the event screen for a little while and then i closed the game uh i i realized that like why would i go for these camos right like, why would I go for the Cherry Blossom camo on... What's this guy doing? He just... Oh, okay. He's working his SBMM down, I see. But yeah, I kind of thought to myself, like, why do I want to get these camos? Like, yeah, it's cool, but I already have gold on all the guns that I want gold for. And gold in this game is phenomenal. Like, I think this is the best looking gold camo we've got in a... gotten in a very long time. And then I was thinking, like, well, maybe I could get it on some of the guns that I don't have gold for. But the reason I don't have gold on those guns is because I don't like them. Like, I don't use them. And so I just kept asking myself, like, why? 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 And then I was like, well, maybe I should just do it because it's a limited time event. But that also didn't really do anything for me. Like, that didn't shake the feeling at all. Because <sighs> I'm tired, man. You know, after... God knows how many years, maybe like five, if you want to say Fortnite was the one that really started all this with the battle passes and stuff. After like five years of this sort of like, oh, limited time events, if you don't complete your battle pass or you don't complete this event, then you're not going to get the rewards and blah, blah, blah. I'm just tired of it, <laughs> you know, like I'm tired of forcing myself to play a game that I don't want to play just because the game suddenly has a, a cool reward attached to it for a limited time and when i look at like the requirements to complete this challenge 125 headshots for assault rifles i think it was like 75 for smgs like obviously they're going to inflate those numbers because that's what most people want to use fair enough but it, when i look at it i'm like dude i don't want to get 125 headshots for you know this camo that I'm probably not even going to use because I have all gold assault rifles. <laughs> I'm not going to go out of my way to do it for SMGs either. Like, it just felt like a lot suddenly. I don't know if it's a combination of like the fatigue from all these limited time events and FOMO crap, but I'm just not feeling it like at all. Uh, I'm only playing this to record this and it just doesn't feel good man like we finally got an event that i actually want 
to play or I wanted to play you know with a tangible reward and whatnot but it's like I don't know the the, the love just isn't there I'm not feeling it suddenly and maybe it's because I'm tired of these sort of limited time events and stuff but I think it's also got to do with the fact that I've played a lot of single player games recently uh, with you know the prime remastered uh, I played Minish Cap recently on my Switch. Um, speaking of Prime Remastered, you should totally watch that video that I put out on it. That was that was a good one. But I've been playing all these single player games and a little bit of Halo Infinite. Not a lot, you know. I, I completed like the event and I got my weekly challenge. Holy, what the fuck is that, <laughs> bro? What the fuck was that? Oh no. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. So. I I guess I've enjoyed having like a bunch of single player games to play and then like one multiplayer game with uh Halo. That's been good. That's been like healthy for me, right? Because I want to play Halo Infinite and so having reasons to play it, especially with this new seasonal update and knowing that well, I shouldn't say knowing, but hoping that 343 will actually stick to their 3 month seasons now makes me want to invest in that game a little bit more. Uh, I'm not buying anything in the store still until, you know, the game is really on its feet and it stays that way for a while. But yeah, it's, I think it's a combination of those two things, you know, being tired of limited time events in general and playing single player games that don't ask anything from me, right? Like, there's nothing about Metroid Prime Remastered that is like begging me to play it. Right? There's nothing synthetic in the game other than how it's designed, which I don't even really consider to be synthetic, that makes me want to play it. Like, I want to play Prime Remastered because it's fun, right? It doesn't ask anything of me other than to complete it. And it doesn't... There's no time limit on completing it, right? I can take my time with it. I can grab all the missile expansions and energy tanks, explore every nook and cranny. And then when I'm, t when I'm like, tired and I want to take a break... I could take a break without feeling like I'm wasting my time or anything. Same thing with when I was playing through Minish Cap. I was just having fun. And while I do have fun with, you know, Modern Warfare 2 and Halo Infinite, you know, these games both feel just phenomenal to play. Like, Halo Infinite feels buttery smooth and it, it feels good to shoot the guns and whatnot. And same thing for Modern Warfare 2. It's just, I'm tired of these games constantly begging me for my time and my money you know i'll give it to halo infinite because i love halo more than i love call of duty and i feel like to an extent halo and 343 do care about their fan base whereas i've never like in recent years i felt like call of duty activision they don't really care about their fan base and the fan base is not even that good either it's just toxic and you know, with the advent of Warzone and stuff, people have just been trying so hard all the fucking time. And it's the same thing in Halo. It's got skill-based matchmaking and all those bullcrap. But that's another thing that single-player games don't do. There's no skill-based matchmaking in uh, a single-player game. Unless you're talking about, like, a difficulty setting. But even then, you get to pick that for yourself. So there's nothing in a single-player game that uh, alters my experience to try and get money out of me or to get time out of me other than the game itself you know i can put down a single player game if i think it's not worth my time it's a lot harder for me to do that with a multiplayer game because if you buy a battle pass it's like well if you don't unlock everything screw you your ten dollars is just gone now or part of your ten dollars is gone now which is also part of why i think i like halo infinite is because you buy a battle pass and you're guaranteed to get all the content from that battle pass even if all the content in that battle pass is kind of you know, eh, at best. A lot of a lot of weapon stickers and stuff that I just don't really care about in Halo, but that's beside the point. I think this this whole thing with uh, this event in Modern Warfare 2 is what it's showing me and what it's telling me is that I'm kind of tired of all this and, and maybe my tastes are changing for the better. You know, I've said for a very long time to anyone who will listen that... I want to play more single player games because I feel like they're better for me. I grew up playing single player games on my PlayStation and my, my original Xbox, uh, such as Halo. You know, Halo was primarily a single player franchise for me 
for a very long time because I didn't have any friends to play it with. <laughs> you know, back then there was no Xbox Live, so having, you know, Jake from down the street come over to play Halo, it was a bit of a hard ask, especially when we were more interested in playing outside and doing stuff, but now I sound like a boomer, so. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. Until I had Xbox Live, I didn't really have a consistent way to play multiplayer, and when I first got it, it was amazing, but I feel in the years since, that it uh it slowly progressed into not only a uh, machine designed to separate you from your money but also to take up your time whether you want to or not and that's tragic i hate that so i don't know um i i still like call of duty like i still enjoy playing it but i have not wanted to play it very much recently other than zombies. I've been playing a lot of zombies recently. I might make a video on that. But otherwise, I've been enjoying the sort of balance of just playing Halo Infinite as like my multiplayer game and then playing other single player games uh, on the side. You know, I got really excited about Minish Cap, loved that game. Uh, I'm enjoying the shit out of Metroid Prime Remastered. And it's been good, man. I've, I've felt a lot better. Like, I've, I've actually liked gaming again. <laughs> You know, for a while there, I was wondering if maybe I was done with it, but I realized that I wasn't. It was just how things were coming out and how things were changing in terms of multiplayer that I, I wasn't into. However, if you enjoy COD more than I do, and, uh, you know, I'm happy for you. This, this event is awesome, and I'm glad that if you're into COD, you have something to grind for, but, uh... When I'm done recording this, I'll probably just be hopping off to go finish Prime Remastered. And then uh, at the end of this week, we got the RE4 remake coming out, which I will for sure be playing. And I will for sure... Well, actually, by the time you guys are seeing this video, it'll be Thursday. So you'll probably see a video Wednesday or Thursday. That's when I'm hoping to put this up. But um, RE4 remake comes out on Friday. Yeah, I just... Uh, sitting here on a Saturday night thinking about all this stuff, so I wanted to record it and upload it, talk about it. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys are feeling like the same way about all this stuff, or maybe you're not, maybe I'm alone in this, but either way, I just wanted to kind of talk it out, you know, talk out my, my thoughts in a YouTube video. But anyway, guys, that's all that I had to say, so I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, let me know in the comments down below if you're kind of feeling the same way as me about all this stuff, or... Even if you're not, you know, let me know that you're enjoying this new event. I'd be interested to see what people have to think. But until next time, take care of yourself, get plenty of rest, all that good stuff, and I will see you very soon. Peace!